What is up, people? The new Supreme season is here. The Fall Winter 2019 collection has begun. Anyways, I ordered this over a week ago. Monday, that first drop when it happened. I should actually check the day for you guys. Monday the 26th, 2019. That was the day. 9 a.m. my time. Central, no, mountain time. I'm in mountain time. I live in Montana. The place far away from everybody. So everything, all of this... It all has to get shipped to me. I've got to try and get in on those websites right when stuff drops and get it ordered because there's no way I can stand in any line that's not a 12 hour drive away. And then I got to stand in line for 24 hours. So now I've got to take a whole week of vacation off at work and they really only give me two weeks. So I took a vacation a few weeks ago two weeks and then a five day contract break. It's a weird situation how it works. So anyways, I got three weeks out of the deal and we traveled all over. Go ahead and check out those videos. It's all vlogging and traveling. And I wanna make this channel, you know, reviews and some travel, just my life in general. Watch the videos you want. Don't watch the ones you don't wanna watch. If you don't wanna watch them, no one's gonna make you, dude. So uh, anyways, we're gonna keep opening up Supreme items, spreading positivity. So make sure you subscribe to this channel right now. Click that like button to show me your support and let's break in to this item. Oh, also, I am doing a raffle once I get to 2,000 subscribers, which I'm almost there. I'm gonna do a custom shirt, uh, make it custom for you guys, right? And so in here, oh look, they are giving everybody one of these scratch. See, look, there's Supreme stickers. Normally you get a Supreme sticker. Oh, and I got the lotion. I actually have really dry skin, plus living in Montana, the air is just horribly, horribly dry. So I use lotion all the time, but you know, this ain't gonna cut it, Supreme. Mama needs you guys to, to make some real immutable, immutable boundless light. Wow. Anyways, yeah, so my scratch off sticker is already getting scratched off, as you can tell here. It's just peeling off, literally, as I'm touching it. So I'm gonna quit with that, and we'll set it back down. Normally they give you like a Supreme box logo sticker, which I have a lot of these, but that's because I've been collecting a while. Anyways, also, the parachute toy. This is the free toy they're giving away. That's the label. That's my proof. That's the proof that I did actually get this all from the Supreme website. And yeah, if you guys want more proof, whatever. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. Oh, and they got little tiny stickers. Yeah, save the planet. Kill yourself. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> Love yourself, maybe kill the old you, but metaphorically, you know? Kill that side of you that wants to hurt other people or to keep grudges or shy away when you could let your voice be heard and all that goodness. So I'm gonna see, which shirt do I wanna, let's do this one first since I already grabbed it. Oh, I didn't know I got it in this color. I got this in the slate color, this blue color. It's the Mary J. Blige tee. Here's the label. So pretty cool shirt here. There's the tag on the front, just a size large. I do like this slate color. And when I saw it, and I saw that it wasn't sold out, because a bunch of the t-shirts were just selling out like crazy and some of the other stuff was selling out really fast. And so I saw this colorway, I thought it was pretty cool. But my wife, she doesn't really like Mary J's music that much, I guess. And, well, maybe she, that's not real, the real reason. Like, she wants me to have a picture of her face on a shirt and not some other girl. So, I mean, I can't, I can't hate her for saying that. She's, she's a jealous wife and that's okay. She has the right to be. But yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw this first one on. Oh, by the way, this shirt. Love them anyways. And this is a cool message. This is a stone wash. So, I don't know exactly what that means. It, it's just roughed up and it looks distressed is all. But anyways, Bold Love, they come out with some cool shirts. I love some of these little pop-up t-shirt design people that are coming up and making some actually cool designs or some positive message. So you can check out Bold Love if you want. I think I reviewed them in the past. They don't pay me or anything. I just like their stuff. But anyways, let's put this one on. There we go. All right. The fit is nice. It's good long length. It's regular size large, I would say, compared to United States size large shirts. I know that um, European sizes can be a lot smaller. Asian sizing can be extremely small way smaller. This is basically a United States large. So it's a big shirt. We have big people here. That's just how it is. So I don't know what you're feeling about the graphic. This is a tube setup. So you don't have a seam like on either side of this shirt. And therefore you just have the one tag in the back like I showed you guys. And 
yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull out this second shirt that I got. Also in a pretty cool color. I like this, I don't know, what do you call it? Tan, na oh, natural. The natural color. I guess that basically means off-white or cream, dark cream, I don't know. But anyways, uh, yeah, there's tag in the label on both sides on this one. That's the back of the neck tag. And then you've got the label down here. Some warning information on the plastic. There you go. And I think I actually will wear this one. My wife has nothing against this shirt, or at least, I don't know, maybe she does. She hasn't said anything, and I haven't showed it to her, so we're kind of both in the dark, but <laughs> here's the tag a little closer. I didn't show the last one close up, but I'm pretty sure they're exactly the same, I'm guessing. And yeah, so there's, there's the back. And it's crazy, on some of these tags, you can really see the supreme wording on, basically in between here. They're supreme and it's written in a transparent ink. On some of the pieces you can see it really well, other pieces you can't see it at all. I think they just have the individual manufacturers do that. And so pretty much almost every piece or design is going to be a little bit different because they have a bunch of different manufacturers they're working with to create these tags for them. So a lot of the t-shirts though each season are gonna be relatively the same besides the jersey tees. A lot of those are just random different manufacturers but like this one is another tube or seamless this shirt, super comfortable, right? And so there's no tag on the inside, there's just that one on the back of the neck. I'm pretty sure this one is gonna fit exactly like this t-shirt, but I'm gonna put it on anyways, just so you guys can see what it looks like. And there we go, we got this one on. I do like the graphic, it's pretty dope. Just a flag with that iconic Supreme box logo. It's, you know, a box logo shirt, right? Almost. Kind of. Not quite. It's not really a box logo shirt. I still haven't had the chance to buy a Supreme Box logo shirt. I'm trying to get my first one to be for retail because I know if I start going into resale market of the box logo shirts, I may get a few over, you know, a short amount of time. And I really don't want to do that. So I'm also looking for used box logo shirts, but then the problem for authenticity, it gets a little bit difficult. So it's pretty hard. Right now, I don't have one, but Rest assured, probably happen in the future. I mean, you know, anyways. <laughs> I want to share some positivity with you guys before I end this video. I'm going to share from Matthew chapter 7, verses 13 through 14. You can enter God's kingdom only through the narrow gate. The highway to hell is broad, and its gate is wide for many who choose that way. But the gate to life is very narrow, and the road is difficult, and only few ever find it. All right, so this verse is very confusing for certain groups of people, especially ones with the new revelation or whatever you want to call it. I don't, it's not something I agree with, but the idea that after death, you go to either heaven or hell, which isn't something that Jesus necessarily taught. A lot of times in ancient Greek translation or ancient Greek Aramaic translations, these ideas or concepts get lost or you read them thousands of years later and you read them after watching television or listening to the radio or whatever and you get different ideas of what the verse may be saying with your environment that you're currently in but we have to remember these people lived very long ago and Jesus when he would speak about heaven heaven was basically living on earth without all the craziness and the torment and torture that a lot of people went through because we just recently became a society where people can live peacefully and not be scared for their life most of the time a lot of people in the past, you know, have lived in horrible, horrible conditions. I mean, think about it. They would basically call anybody with a scientist brain uh, a warlock or a witch or something, and they would kill them because they were smart. And now those kinds of people are super rich, right? And we want them to keep making super awesome things. We want them to keep working on that time machine or whatnot. And uh, it's just, it's just a different time we're living in. So Jesus would tell these people that the road to hell is wide because basically he wanted to explain that holding grudges against people, having hate towards people, basically just going after your own lustful desires just to indulge yourself, like eating a whole bunch of cake or something else, whatever is your thing, just overindulgence and th that's easy. There's a bunch of people who are gonna do that and the way is wide and you can 
you know, you can, it doesn't have to be cake, it can be anything. He's saying the way to heaven, the way of living peacefully in a community of people here on earth, actually, is very narrow. Basically, having that love, that care for other people, that radical love that Jesus taught, the enemy love, where you love even those people who hate you. That's that narrow path that Jesus is trying to explain here. And yeah, so let's just keep being positive to one another. Let's show each other love whenever we can. You know, helping a friend out or somebody we don't even know. Everybody can be our friend. And uh, yeah, so hit me up on social media, all that jazz. I'd love to hear your thoughts, what you think about some of the stuff in the Bible. I love having very deep discussions about the Bible and uh, <laughs> I am going to see you guys next week. I got another Supreme item. This, or yesterday morning actually, I was trying to get the app to work for me. Couldn't get anything I really wanted because the app wouldn't let me go to the checkout. I was able to add things to my cart, but then the checkout or the my cart or anything, the buttons weren't there. So anyways, it was okay. A few minutes passed and I was able to grab something I actually really did want. Maybe even more than the first thing I went after. So anyways, we'll check that out next week, next time. And love y'all. Be safe. Peace.